Hey, what's going on? It's Roger. So let me give you another uh, little rant. <clears throat> I was at the gym today. It's raining. It's dark. Uh, I get out of my van. These are my shoes. These are native shoes. <clears throat> They're rubber. Um, when I go to the gym and I go in the shower and whatnot, I use these like slippers. So I'd wear them like this. So, um... They're a little bit wet when I come out of the shower. And uh, usually what happens is that when I get in my van and I start driving, I take these off like my slippers and just drive barefoot. Ugh. Today, um, I park, like I said, it's dark, it's raining. I park, I go inside, or I start to go inside. I open my slide in order to grab my bag. I step on something, and you probably know where this is going, but I step on something, I look down, I'm thinking, plastic bag, I'm not plastic bag, a uh, paper bag that's been ran over a ton of times because it didn't feel, you know, you step on that and you're like feeling that, and this is in the parking, in the parking lot, okay, of a busy area, didn't think anything of it, anyway, so, <clears throat> I get in my van after this whole fiasco. Again, my I come back to my van after the shower. I actually step in this bag again, which I was trying to avoid. Um, I didn't have my light on or anything like that, so I put my bag in, do that. Um, since my shoes were wet, like I said, coming out of the shower, what I do is that I take my shoes off right here, and then I start driving barefoot. And thank God I did that because. I went to go fill, fill up gas, and <clears throat> um, I looked down at my shoes, and I was like, what the hell? You know, it was, it was dog shit, or some kind of shit. So, um, when you understand how I, I'm, I'm Asian, and so when we go to our houses and stuff, and what, you know, our, our place, wherever we stay, we usually take off our shoes before we... Um, start going inside the house. So I keep that same mentality in my van. I don't, uh, I don't um, wear my shoes throughout the whole van and stuff like that. As soon as I take, get in my van, I take off my shoes. Even when I come through the sliding door, I keep, you know, there's a plastic uh, stuff right there. I keep my shoes there. And just for that reason, because you don't know what you're stepping in or what you stepped on, or whatever stuff that's coming through. And I don't want to track that, even just in that little spot in my van. So I always keep, uh, t take my shoes off and treat it like my house. <coughs> and today it paid off because um, I'm here cleaning all the little bits of crap that's left on my shoe. Um, thank God, because there was a lot more. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, it is something to consider um, when you live in a van, you know. Uh, I didn't get too much crap on my, uh, my floor mat, but my floor mat is worn out pretty bad anyway, so I'm going to toss that out and uh, get another one at the junkyard soon enough. Anyways, another rant. Um, check your shoes. You know, uh, and like you said, for me, <clears throat> once I go behind, once I go to the back of my van, I'm taking off all my dirty clothes, my work clothes, clothes that I've been out where I know I sat on a bench or sat at school or sat at work. All those clothes come off and go directly into my hamper because I like to keep it clean and, um, you know, you don't want track germs and dirt and all kinds of stuff who knows who knows where people have been sitting so <clears throat> that's just a, another tip for me um, to help you out or to make you aware if you're not aware later